Mr. Wilson, I understand you knew many presidents, Eisenhower, Kennedy, Johnson, Bush, Reagan, and Bush, dating all the way back to 1954. I was privileged to know a lot of presidents. Uh, I knew those six presidents well, <clears throat> but I've also met two others. I've met Richard Nixon, for example, and I've met Donald Trump. I can't say I really know knew them either one, <clears throat> but I served under Dwight Eisenhower in the executive office of the president, and uh, LBJ was my longtime friend, and uh, I knew John F. Kennedy. Uh, <clears throat> Well, and uh, he was in Houston the night before he was assassinated, and I, I was in charge of his arrival at the airport. And Eisenhower and, uh, and LBJ and JFK were all friends of mine, and I knew them well, and as well as both Bushes, Herbert Walker Bush and George W. Bush, uh, as well as Ronald Reagan. <clears throat> My best friend was a guy named Jimmy Lyon of Houston, who owned the River Oaks Bank and Trust. And <clears throat> Lyon was the one who saved the first Ronald Reagan campaign by making a $300,000 loan to the campaign when they were out of money. <clears throat> he made the loan so they could run commercials to raise money, which they did, and he went on to win the presidency. So my connection with Ronald Reagan, who I liked a lot, was through uh, him. By the way, when Ronald Reagan was elected, there was as much question about his ability to be president as it, were, it was about Donald Trump. Why? Because he'd been an actor. He was an actor, and uh, although he had been governor of California, uh, that didn't mean a lot in Texas. So many people had to make a leap of faith to vote for Ronald Reagan, and he turned out to be one of the great presidents of all time.